We're going to be discussing the Skylus in Seagull 160 and the proper way to get it up and running. You have your Insego Skylus 160. You have two SMA connectors. You have one GPS SMA connector. On the back of the unit, you have a port for two micro um, nano SIM cards, two nano SIM cards. And so you can use different providers. I have a T-Mobile and I have an AT&T SIM. Um, they can be used for failover or redundancy. You also have a battery that comes with it. The battery will provide about six to eight hours of usage on battery power. You also have a drawer and you have the three antennas. The Insego Skylus actually comes with a four pin AC Molex connector that you can utilize as well for power. That is here. And you can also power it via a US, uh, micro USB as indicated here. So you can power it this way. I'm gonna go ahead, instead of the AC Molex connector, I'm gonna go ahead and power it this way. So what you do when you insert the SIM cards, you're gonna actually insert it, insert the SIM cards um, with the notch facing up and forward. So in inner wise, once you insert the SIM cards, you go ahead and close the lever. Once it's closed, you're gonna lock it in by placing it forward or toward the middle. You're going to insert your battery, close your drawer, the antennas are labeled cell for the seagull, doesn't matter if you put it on cell 1 or cell 2, they're going to serve the same purpose, GPS antenna. You rotate in a clockwise position. Once the antennas are on, what you can do is, if you have power via the portable battery, you can just press two seconds and it will power on. Otherwise, Go ahead and uh, connect either the four pin Molex connector or you can connect your um, power bank and the power bank will give it power. The unit is going to cycle through the lights uh, and you have a signal strain indicator. You have a Bluetooth indicator and Wi-Fi indicator and you have a GPS indicator. Uh, and those will cycle through. It takes about a minute. As you can see, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are starting to uh, start in blink. The signal strain indicator for the cellular modules, it's going to take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute, but then it should actually turn blue, green. You can adjust the antennas. The 160W also comes with an Ethernet connector, so that way you could plug in directly into a VoIP phone or a computer or anything that uses a network, network camera, as an example. The good thing about it is, again, the built-in battery will run for six to eight hours on portable power. You can either add another um, battery, so this is a 2800 battery. Um, so this will actually power the unit for about 10 hours in addition to the hour, uh, the hours that the unit powers on. And pretty much that's how you get up and running. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. Thank you.